what up, what up, Kryptonian game, and bringing you guys another Division 2 build video. And this one, man, I'm really hyped for dropping this one. This one is dope. It took me some time to put some together. It's still not done, but I can't, I gotta drop it for you guys, man, before somebody else does. But this one is pretty awesome. I wanted to build something around damage to armor. So this one has about 24, 25% damage to armor. It's pretty OP. I brought back a Division 1 fan favorite i don't know if it's a fan favorite but it was my favorite the g36 and the lebeau in division one was my favorite so i bought it back it hits harder than ever this build is crazy um uh, if you enjoy the video man stick around i'm gonna hit you guys with some gameplay in the beginning and then the build showcase then some gameplay so if you like the video enjoy the video stick around and hit the like man let's go for about maybe 10 likes man you know i'm just for the algorithm to help my videos get out there and if you new to the channel or you like new to the D division 2 community you know and you want to stay up on build videos from my channel you know hit the subscribe button hit the bell so you can get notified every time i drop a video i'm kryptonian gaming let's get into it get into the build but before we get into the build man i have to say something i'm starting to see stuff on youtube man from these uh i never really heard about these content creators man but they trying to like diss the older content creators man it's corny man cut it out man everybody plays this game differently you know if i want to wear six pieces of hunter's fury who the hell are you to tell me that i'm doing it wrong that's how i enjoy the game that's how i have fun 
even though I'm doing it wrong. It don't matter. You're just a content creator. You put the information out for whoever's out there that's going to grab the information, your audience or whatever. So stop doing that, man. Stop hating on another content creator, man. Because they get in the views for this month or whatever. It don't matter, man. Like, stop hating, man. We a community, man. We supposed to stick together, man. There's enough money to go around. Trust me. Work on the craft. Like, I, I just started this, man. And I grew up. I, like, I came. I didn't grow up, but I, I, I got into this watching the, the older content creators. I don't want to mention no names, but I could. You feel me? And um, I love them guys, man. Because they got me into this. And um, I respect them guys, man. We don't talk. We're not friends. I'm saying this for me. But it's kind of corny, man. You know, don't just just make your video, put it out there. And whoever wants to acknowledge your video and take that information in, they'll apply it. Let them apply it. Everybody's grown here. Except for the kids. But, you know, so cut it out, man. That shit's corny. I don't know why people do that, man. Coming at somebody or whatever. Anyway, man, um, because honestly, this is how you sound. All in the video, all on the record, dancing, come to death row. And this is what happened when he got sentenced. <laughs> but anyway, man, cut it out. It's corny. Um, let's just get into the bill, man. Hop right into it. I'm going with the tactician. For the extra skill tier, this is an all red DPS build. It's not fully optimized. I wanted to build something totally different from everyone else. And um, it's not fully optimized, but I'll get it up there. And I had a lot of fun playing with this build, so I think I'm going to put this in my loadouts. But anyway, I'm going with the Sleipner. I think that's how you pronounce it. It has perfect frenzy on it. Uh, for every eight bullets in the magazine capacity, gain 3% rate of fire and 3% weapon damage for five seconds when reloading from empty. I bought the old school Division 1 G36 back, but this is the military one. But that was my favorite, man. Um, The G36 and the Laveau in Division 1. I don't know how many people, you know, drop a comment if it was your favorite or which gun was your favorite in the Division 1. Um, now, the, uh, the purpose of this build, I wanted to build something with damage to armor, like, Let's see how high I could get with the damage to armor. So I uh, managed to get 24, 25%. So the guns all got damage to armor, 6%. Now two Walker Harris pieces, Walker Harris pieces, excuse me, will give me 5% damage to armor. And three Arati Holdings pieces will give me 5% damage to armor. And then the contractor's gloves will give me 8% damage to armor. That's about 24, 25 percent damage to armor now i could throw a marksman rifle up here i know y'all like damn why you got a, a raw these if you don't got a i could throw the dread edict or whatever but i just didn't want that i wanted to like i said unique to my play style i really don't like rifles like that but i could have threw a mercy list or something on here just for the video but i'm not anyway um the talent on the backpack is clutch if you are below 15 percent Armor, critical hits, repair 2.5, missing armor, kills allow you to repair up to 100% armor for 4 to 10 seconds based on your number of core attributes. Did I forget to mention? Oh yeah, I got strained on the um, G36 for the talent. And the chest piece is obliterate. Critical hits increase total weapon damage by 1% for every 5 seconds, stacks up to 25 times. I'm going with a fixed drone and a assault turret. Just a little quick build showcase. Uh... It's pretty awesome, man. I got some gameplay. Stick around. And for you YouTubers, the big ones, doing your thing. Keep doing your thing. Because uh, y'all also give us ideas and, and, you know, and information that some of us won't be able to, you know, to get. So, I love you guys, man. I'm Kryptonian Gaming. I'll see you guys on the next one. Down. Every last one.
Thank you.